Radio TV Phono Nut here, and today we have a Concept Solutions paper shredder. Uh, it was made in that country. You know where it was made. You know the one that if I mention the name of it and get too carried away, I will be called a racist for my feelings about these cheap products. But in all fairness, this thing's probably lasted eight or nine years. It was bought at big lots, and I don't remember what I paid for it. Probably no more than about 35 bucks, if that much. Well, here lately it hasn't been operating very well, but it's still been working. I can tell you that I, uh, it hasn't taken six maximum sheets of paper without bogging down in a long time. Well, today I was using it, and it was working just fine, and all of a sudden I heard something pop, and the motor started up full throttle. So I suspect what happened is the one of the gears has broken, most likely a plastic gear. So this is probably just going to be a, a post-mortem rather than a repair. And I'll just go to Walmart and buy another $35 piece of crap paper shredder and use it until it tears up. I find it comical that they have these symbols on here telling you what kind of objects that you shouldn't put into the shredder. Oh, such as body parts and ties and, oh, bottles and paper clips and what have you. Well, I'd like to see you fit a bottle in here, but... You know, all these things they have marked on here that you're not supposed to insert in here, quite frankly, if I, if you don't know that you can't insert any of these objects into a paper shredder, then quite frankly, you're probably too stupid to be uh, walking around. But anyway, we'll open this and see what broke. I've got a feeling that all that's going to become of this is We'll have us a power cord for something, and we'll have the basket here to, for a garbage can. Okay, yeah, we definitely want to get that in the picture. Well, we can see that one of the plastic studs that the metal rod goes down in to hold the whole assembly to this plastic housing has broken. Well, we can see the motor is turning. But no gears are turning, so that tells us that probably one of them is stripped. And we also have sparkification at the commutator. Which means this thing probably hadn't got all that long anyway, even if the gears were good. Yep, that's exactly what the trouble is. Motor shaft is turning, but the gears are not because the teeth are stripped out on it. So, just as I figured, this one's ready to be EOL'd. Save the power cord for a project around here and save the paper basket for a little garbage can. Got another garbage can in the house that works nicely for that purpose. It was once the paper basket for a paper shredder. So we got us a good power cord and we'll save the power switch. You never know when we might need that for something. 